Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Cisneros. I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your DXF file in RDWorks. So let's start by opening up RDWorks. And this program is going to help us import our DXF file and then download to the laser cutter. So we'll start by going to File, Import. And what we're looking for is the DXF file that we made using vCarp Pro. Here is the DXF. I'm going to go to Open. Now the main thing we're doing here in RDWorks is deciding what lines here in our logo are going to be a cut and which ones are going to be a scan. A cut line will be cut through completely on our material by the laser. A scan line will be engraved by the laser. So we are, it's up to us to decide which ones are going to be cut and which ones are going to be scanned. The way we do this is by choosing our lines, clicking on our lines, and putting them on a certain layer. That layer either being a scan or a cut. The way I would typically do this is by selecting the entire image. So I can make a big box around here. And then I'm going to go and choose just one color. I'm going to choose blue. Okay. Over on the right-hand side, I can see my layer, blue, and my mode, scan. That's good. Now what I can do is I can go and say, okay, well, actually, I need this outside border, this outside circle. That's going to be my cut line. So I can just click on that one individually, and then I can choose a different color. I can go to red. And now over on the right-hand side, I can see that a second layer has been added the red layer, and the mode is cut. Now, when you do this, your mode might not be scanned for your blue color, and your mode might not be cut for your red color. So if you do see that, say, both of these are cut or both of these are scanned, you want to change your mode, you can easily do that by double-clicking. Either layer, does not matter. And then over here, this window will come up, and under processing mode, you can choose to make it a scan or a cut. Okay, and I can do the same thing over here if I needed to change my blue layer. Go over to processing mode, and I could change it to a scan or a cut if I need to. For me, I've already set blue as my scan, red as my cut, so I'm almost good to go. The last thing is to look at the minimum power, maximum power, and the speed of the laser for that particular setting and that particular mode. For a scan, something that's going to engrave into the material, we typically want a low power setting and a fast speed setting. For a cut layer, we want the exact opposite. We want, we want a higher power setting and a slower speed setting. So for our scan, you can see that uh, my minimum and maximum power are set at 30 and my speed is set at 350 millimeters per second. I think that's a really good setting to engrave onto the eighth inch birch that we're using. For a cut, again, I have ex almost exact opposite settings. My power is high, so 80 and 80 for the minimum and the maximum, and my speed is very slow, 10 millimeters per second. This way, I, I ensure that when, we're, when the laser is going around in a circle like this, it's not only, po the power is not only high, but the speed is very slow, so we can ensure that it's cutting through the entire piece of material. Once you have your layers set, your lines differentiated between scan and cut, and your settings are set, you're ready to download to the laser. Now, if I were connected to the laser right now, all I'd have to do is press download. When I do, it says communication error, I'm not connected to the laser. But if you currently are using your laptop next to the laser, you have it plugged in. When you click on download, it'll just ask you to save your file. Once you put it, uh, once you put in a name like your initials, it'll be saved to the laser's memory. And then over to the laser you go, and you can start cutting out your image. For now, I'm just going to save this RLD for later. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I'm going to save to my desktop. I'm going to just call this the same thing as I called my DXF initials underscore logo. 
All right, and that's how you set up your DXF so that it is ready to be downloaded to the laser. We'll see you in the next one.